Today, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers officially welcomed their first overall draft pick inside the building, Jameis Winston. Now, he had been to one buck place before, but never quite to this level of fanfare. He walked into the building, and all of the staff was surrounding him, cheering loudly. And then he walked into the press conference, and it was a packed house, standing room only. You couldn't get a parking spot anywhere, and there were tons of former players here. So with all of that adding up, you get the feeling that this organization is going to be viewed a lot differently in the next coming years. And it also raises the level of expectations. After all, he's been one of the most dominant college players we've seen in some time, having only lost one game during his entire college career. But with that, one of the reasons why Winston is such a popular guy is because some of his off-the-field issues, it's made him a very polarizing character. And so with that and with the stakes being so much higher, you know that that spotlight is going to follow him around wherever he goes. How is he going to handle that type of pressure? Uh, I know the type of person I am. And I, and I know the type of how, what I hold myself to, you know, and I've been up on a microscope uh, for the past two years like no one, no one else. So uh, I'm kind of used to that. So uh, I'm just ready to play football, man. I'm ready to play football, ready to get involved in the community, you know, uh, ready to just do positive things, you know, and move forward. Well, you know, I'm not, right now I'm not worried about being the face of, of the franchise or anything. I mean, we got guys like Jerry McCoy, Vincent Jackson, and, and just great men in this organization right now. I just want to learn. You know, I want to learn from those guys. I want to uh, help build, build myself so one day I can be the face of Tampa Bay. You know, get involved in the community like uh, Derrick Brooks is. You know, I just want my face to be like that. But obviously it takes work, you know, and uh, – I can't wait. I can't wait for that for that opportunity to just come. Now, after his press conference, we had a chance to sit down with Winston and talk to him on a little bit more of a personal basis. And I learned a few new things about him. First and foremost, he grew up an Eagles fan of all places. I thought that was really interesting. Was a big Randall Cunningham fan growing up. Of course, he said all of his family members now have to become Bucks fans. And speaking of family members, he spoke a lot about his grandmother. Now, one of the reasons why he didn't go to Chicago is because he wanted to be with his family, including her. And he said that after after he signed his contract today, the first purchase that he made was to get her a really fancy recliner chair. She hasn't had that, so he was able to get her this really fancy recliner chair, and I think that kind of paints an image of him, possibly a different image than what people have seen before. I know that in the last 24 hours, everyone keeps talking about those crab legs and why did he post a picture of it. He swears he didn't mean any harm by it. He said it was merely a thank you gift from his friend on Deadliest Cat. She was merely saying thank you to him for the generosity there. So he did remove that post from his Instagram though. So take that for what it's worth. But between learning about that and then also I thought this was interesting too. He was asked if someone comes up to him in a department store and says that they didn't want the team to draft him. How is he going to handle that? And he pretty much said, you know, there's nothing I can really say to that other than just smile. And he understands that there are certain beliefs about him right now. He understands that people might have a certain mindset about him going into this. They've read a lot of things in the newspaper, but he is hopeful that in time he can change those people's perspectives. Of course, he's most of all thankful that the people inside this building uh, believe something just a little bit different, which is why they've put all this faith in him. And he says more than anything, he feels that he owes it to those guys, those guys being the front office, the Glazer family, general manager Jason Light, and also head coach Lovey Smith. He really owes it to those guys to keep their level of trust and to not let them down. Reporting from One Buck Place with Sports Talk Florida, I'm Jenna Lane.